Valerie. How you doing? Well, first and foremost, Happy New Year. Can you believe it? 2016 already. Isn't it crazy? Well, I am going to ring in the new year and start my, you know, 2016 by accomplishing a goal that I've wanted to achieve for two years. And that's what this video is all about. In this video, I am going to show you start to finish how I apply my keratin smoothing treatments. A lot of you out there may have information and, or be familiar with it, but it seems to me that people I talk to have never even heard of keratin treatments. Or if they have, they associate the keratin treatment with like a lot of stereotypes. So uh, hopefully I can answer any and every question you've ever had about a keratin smoothing treatment, as well as show you how I do it step by step. So I'm going to include a photo of everything I'm going to use for my keratin smoothing treatment. And that way you'll see like, you know, everything I'm going to be using. First, I guess I should say that I'm going to use the Ion smoothing treatment. Ion Smooth Solutions. So step one of the Ion Smooth Solutions is to wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo. So not a daily clarifying, like what you would find at Walmart or something, but an actual salon formula clarifying shampoo. And what I used was the Ion Clarifying Shampoo right here. That's what I used. So this is how my hair looks after the shampoo. So yeah, that's what that looks like. You can see the difference right here between the keratin treated hair and this. So see, this is my, this is two months of growth right here. You can see the difference. So that's step one. You're supposed to wash your hair with the clarifying shampoo about three times. So step two of the keratin treatment is to vigorously shake the bottle. So I'm gonna do that. Just so you mix up all the product, you know, Make sure everything is mixed all nicely because you know products tend to settle over time. So I'm gonna mix that up. That's step two. And step three is you wanna make sure your hair is completely dry before you apply the keratin. So I have a blow dryer right here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna blow dry it on a low heat and probably on warm, low heat until all the moisture is out of my hair. So I have blow dried on a medium heat um, all inside in my roots. I did not really worry about getting the ends dry because I'm not going to be applying the keratin to the ends of my hair. So the next step is to put the Ion Smoothing Solutions into a tint bowl. So that way you can control the amount of product that you're using. So like you would never want to just like pour it right from the bottle or pour it into your hands or anything like that because you certainly don't want to overuse the product. So I'm definitely going to pour the product into the tint bowl and then I'm going to be applying the product with this tint brush. So this is about what about one ounce of product will look like in the bowl. But first to help me, I'm gonna separate my hair into four different sections and I'm just gonna use these clips. So I have my hair separated into the four sections. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on because it's always best to wear gloves. Okay, and I'm gonna set my timer for the 10 minutes and do my best to work through my hair in 10 minutes. So I've applied it all over all of my new growth. So I'm going, going to set the timer again for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna continue on to the next step. So I let the keratin treatment sit and process on my hair for a, between 15 and 20 minutes. So the next step in the process is to take a ventilation brush or a petal brush and go through the hair and blow dry until you don't feel the product wet on your hair anymore. So I have completely blow dried my hair. So the final step of the, the keratin treatment is to go through your hair, your hair and flat iron it. 
So you're supposed to split your hair into sections, of course, and you're supposed to go use the heat ranging between 400 and 450. So if your hair is highly resistant and normal and very uh, healthy, then you use 450. If you have like a, or if you have just like a thicker hair diameter. If you have fine hair, not necessarily unhealthy, but fine hair, which I have fine hair, then you're supposed to use 430. And if you have chemically treated or very damaged hair, then you should use 400. So I have my flat iron set to, um, you probably can't see, but this is set to 430. So this is the last step. So let me go ahead and flat iron it. One, two, three, four, five, and then bam. Okay, so I am completely done. Hmm. So far, I say it's pretty good. I don't know if you can see um, how it turned out. Um, it has a lot of body, <laughs> and you saw what it looked like before. So I guess the final step, if you will, is just that you cannot get your hair wet for uh, about 72 hours. There. Hmm. Now I am completely done. And I think it looks absolutely fabulous. And um, thanks for staying tuned to my video. Hopefully some of you found this useful. All right, well, now I guess I'm all ready for the New Year's weekend, all right? <laughs> well, anyways, as always, thanks for watching.